We'll start by adjusting the V-wheels on your X-carve. Note that for every static V-wheel, there's a dynamic V-wheel. The dynamic V-wheels are the ones with the eccentric nuts. We'll start by tightening all of the static wheels on the machine, and then adjusting the corresponding dynamic V-wheel. Here you'll see that I'm testing if the V-wheel will spin freely, and then tightening the eccentric nut until the wheel just doesn't spin. You want to repeat this for every pair of wheels on the machine, so that's 10 pairs in total or 20 wheels. Then I'll move that carriage to make sure that the wheel is spinning while the carriage moves. Now we'll square the z-axis. Put the machine on a flat surface and use a large square to see if the z-axis is square to the table. If it's not, you'll want to loosen these four screws until the z-axis slides freely. Then hold the square up to the z-axis again. Make sure that it's square to the table, and then tighten the four screws. After you're done tightening, recheck to make sure that the z-axis is square. Now we'll adjust the belt tension. Make sure that your machine is completely unplugged from power when we do this so that the motors don't resist movement. Start by making sure that the static belt clips are flush to the end plates and that the belt clip is straight and parallel to the maker slide. Next, move the gantry all the way to the front and loosen the dynamic belt clip. You may notice that your GT2 belting stretches over the first couple of days that you have your X-carve. This is completely normal. Now we'll just feed a little bit more of the belt through the clip until we can just barely get that screw through the end plate. Now you'll tighten down the screw that will hold the belt clip captive all the way and then back it off a little less than a quarter of a turn. Then you can tighten the nut to tension the belt You'll see here that I'm using my finger to make sure that the teeth of the GT2 belting lock together for this step. That way the belt won't slip. You want the belt to be taut, but not so tight that it's difficult to move the axis. In the video here, I'm tightening the belt clip almost all the way to the end plate. You may not have to do this with your build. When you're happy with the tension in the belt, tighten the small screw that holds the belt clip to the maker slide all of the way. Repeat this process for the other two lengths of belting. 